Alright. Everything should work. That music is way too loud though. Go lower. Hey Heather and hey Croc. So today is kind of like we have been in Kyanov Shire for some time, so I wanted to switch it up and go back into Valhalla. And that's basically what we're going to do. Now the music is like loud enough for me guys, but it's maybe a little bit too silent for you guys. Hey Heather. I already said hey Heather, didn't I? I'm very easily distracted. <laughs> But yeah, today I'm going to build an abandoned farm because I want to build something creepy. Because even though the Mad I'm now just going to call it the Madrasa Tower, it was very colorful, very happy, very like elegant. Now I just want something ruined and death and decay and murder, possible murder, possible murder. Let's keep it at that. So. What I think about is, just think of like Snow White's Scottish, now just add murder. Well, Snow White's Scottish had actual murder, but you know. But I kind of want to make it look like some kind of like plague or just disease went through the building and so the people were like boarded up inside so to stop the spread of the disease. But I don't know, should I have it here? Should I have it here? Because I want to have like a quarry here. Because otherwise why is there a path through a swamp? So... Hmm... I mean I could also make it near Baba Yaga's hut. Like... There are two locations that are... That I can... well three. So it's like, where do I place it? I think I should first like build the building and then let's see where we go from there. A small building. Just one second. <laughs> I want to see. No. Is it here or is it... I have no idea actually where... there it is. I mean it's not that tall. You can definitely see the difference in like building style. It's not that tall. It is almost 11,000 pieces though. Uh, but I can't really show you guys the blueprints too long because there's a big project coming in which not only I am involved but multiple creators are involved. And I actually... I had to stop myself yesterday from speaking too much about it because I was just like, how much can I actually say about this? Hmm. Because I like to talk, if you haven't noticed that. <laughs> I really like to talk. And then I kind of forget, like, oh, wait, am I allowed to talk about this right now? <laughs> I think I can say that it's a Planet Zoo project. Mm, what was I going to... That looks totally not like it would hurt me 
trying to roof this building. No, totally not. This is going to be painful, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. But literally, like yesterday, while on Twitch, I... You might have heard how quickly I... Well... How quickly I tried to shift from the subject of, like, what the big project that's coming. Because, uh... I was just literally immediately like... Oh, wait, am I... Can I talk about this? I mean, I can hype the project up, but then there's, of course, limits to that. Mm. I have a teacher that talks like, welcome, class, or welcome, class. Today we are. <laughs> I mean. I hope I say it a little bit faster. <laughs> also, fun thing. I've been really looking at a... face cam. As in, like, I have looked at an Amazon listing of, like, a face cam and... It... Mm. Then also like debating like, hmm, can I spend this much money? Or basically, do I want to do something with PK or get a face scam? <laughs> because, I mean, money-wise, it's. I always try to save as much as possible. I'm a cheapskate, and proud of it. Like, you can only spend a euro once. Also, Heather. I am... Um, you might have missed it... Yesterday, but... I always thought you were British. And then you said that you were from Wisconsin. And so, now my brain is just like, No, Heather, you're British. Stay British. <laughs> so... Don't ask me why I thought you were British. It's just... I mean, I also think that's, that Croc is... For some reason, Australian. <laughs> maybe not in videos, but in streams, yes. I don't know, maybe a... Be I might try it out in a video once or twice. But we all know I saw your post. Yes, but then it was still on debate whether I should or n shouldn't. Now it's more like when. <laughs> What the hell, like Benny has Charlie's. No. As soon as I deem that you are Australian or British in the case of Heather, then you are Australian. Or in the case of Heather, British. So start wrangling those crocodiles. Oh, I think actually that's Floridian. So, um... When are you moving thing to Florida, croc? This looks awful, like the roof. But you know, Shreya, they eat crocs. Well, they eat crocs everywhere in the world. At least in Florida, they will wrestle with you. This is not what I had intended. You know what? So, now it's gone.
save me. <laughs> nah. You'll do fine. On the menu of a fair of an expensive restaurant. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, I am evil. <laughs> that. I used a lot of rats in the building today. I mean, it's fun tomorrow, but right now I'm just like, I want my color scheme back. Tall. And nobody can save you now, Croc. Because in this stream, you have been put on the menu of a restaurant and you're suddenly Australian. That's more the correct height. Now we have made a sad croc. How would crocodile taste though? Like isn't it like doesn't crocodile like kind of taste like chicken? Like maybe a little bit saltier but I'm really big. <laughs> uh... Croc, we love you. We just want to know what a crocodile tastes like. I mean, it depends if you have like a freshwater one or a saltwater one. I don't have any knowledge about like crocodiles and such, so. Hmm, so it's that. But I want something to go like, well, to basically make it an L shape. I'm going way too high again. I think if you eat me, you'll eat like 10 kilo cookies. Ah, uh, cookies. I mean, Croc, do you now want us to eat you? Because you're making it very enticing to eat you. Because cookies. Secretly, Croc just wants us to eat him. So... And like, when it comes to this farm, I don't want it to be like completely abandoned, like everything is falling apart. Like, I imagine the bodies are still decaying inside. So, 
so that means that everything is sort of still intact it's just like weeds are slowly growing the animals have all ran away because they weren't getting food like stuff like that hey king kai and hey mutant how are you doing guys so yeah today we're building a abandoned farm or well it's abandoned because the people in here died of some kind of disease because i like my things dark also quick question to you guys if you could would you eat crocodile because i would be slightly interested but then I'm also the person who's slightly interested in eating fried tarantula. I, I'm i not joking there. I'm mildly interested in what a tarantula tastes like. I'm not here. <laughs> yeah. You can run, but you can't hide, Croc. Unless you run very far, because then I will grow bored. I would eat crocodile, and I have eaten a triangle. I think you want meant to say tarantula, but now I just see you eating a like. Um, you have just like triangular measuring things. I don't know what she forgot the name for them, but now I just see you eating one of those mutants. <laughs> and hey, Obra Frimi Chucks. I probably mispronounced your name, but. Then I've also recently stated that Salty is now Australian. You can't go against it. What, Poison Blitz? Poison Blitz. Uh, it's one of those days where I can't form a single correct sentence, it seems. <laughs> we're all just like seeing like can we eat croc and then some temperate rocks nope go there Monkey? No, but I got slapped in the eye once by one. After that, I don't trust monkeys. Monkeys are evil because they slapped me in the eye. Is Yoda here? No, and I don't suspect that he will be here. As I said in the comment to you, I have like very like, I think once or twice spoken to Yoda of like Discord, but beyond that, I only know him from his videos. So don't expect Yoda to be here. Sure stuff. Sir Crocky <laughs> is Croc is this your 
nephew, cousin, extended family member. Because now we have Salty Croc and Sir Crocky. Ooh, maybe Croc is secretly royalty or nobility. That's why you guys should eat them. The monkeys? <laughs> I mean the hmm, would I eat monkey wouldn't be the weirdest thing I just don't think I, at least here in the Netherlands, I probably won't have the opportunity. <laughs> I want it to stick out a bit more. Hello, Sir Crocky. Are you Salty Croc's other account so we can't eat Salty? Yeah, I'm also seeing the one who's below oh, that. And so we can't eat Salty Croc, e although now you're here, you've joined when we we're talking about eating Crocs. Hey, Silver. Alright, fun is over, guys. We need to run. Silver is here. I had like so three peaceful days and then here he is again. I'm banned for some reason. I didn't do anything. I haven't really touched the chat since. Three peaceful day streak broken. Yes. Your fault. <laughs> but how are you doing, Silver? <laughs> what would be the quickest way to scare off a Canadian? I don't have any Canadian geese to scare Silver off. I might know something to scare off a Canadian. Hmm. Geese don't really scare me. Then you haven't met the right geese yet. Because geese can be pretty terrifying. Moderating Nick, Drew and doing some work. That's... Yeah. This doesn't look like I want it. Hmm. It's annoying. Like I want it to look a lot creepier. Looks like you're building with some Valheim flavor. Nah. Hmm. 
I mean, if we could build this in Valheim, yes. Sadly, we can't. That window is too large. Like, I want smaller windows. This one also doesn't work. I need to go back to wherever I... Where... Is it? Think I can use these ones. I just need the color. <laughs> Cause I've been building away again and now I don't have what I need. Whoa. How can we scare Shilver? No public health insurance or free health care. Damn it. Oh wait, I know exactly how to scare Silver. Silver, your government is replaced with the USA one. Have fun with it. Farm never exists. I take your netherite. <laughs> And like, all of the mechanics of the US government. So also all of the, all of the, also like the weird debate things and such. That's actually a, just the right. Angle. <laughs> I am... what? I mean that would be kind of amazing that if I'm French and I don't speak a word French. I mean I can say... Je m'appelle... Poison. <laughs> I almost want to say my real name. Because <laughs> that's how I learned it with my real name, but um, no. And... Je... Ne parle pas français. <laughs> or je parle pas. Or je parle français petit. <laughs> no, Crocky. No, bad. Is lam empoisonne. Don't ask me for the pronunciation on that. Just go with it. Two windows here. That just looks like shit. Can I get on the one? In? So.
That doesn't look like shit anymore. You are small. I have no idea what I said. I thought I said like I spreak or spreak. Now I wanted to mix German with French. But um, that I only speak a very tiny, tiny bit of French. <laughs> I have no idea. It's been so long since I last had like French lessons. Alright, so this would be the more realistic look. If you have like a wattle and a building, windows would be in the slots. Also, Silver, is it true that Drew started streaming like an hour before he usually does? Like, am I going insane? Like, usually he goes live the same time as me. And now, it, he was live an hour beforehand, which is weird. Duty calls trucks. It's always 2 p.m. EST. Am I an hour late then? I. Nah, I don't. Brain ow. Take an hour late. Because the clock had to go back an hour. Wait. Or was I just that lazy that I haven't turned my clock forward? Because I would totally do that. I one second my phone does it automatically no oh. I have no idea anymore what's happening so either I'm an hour late, which is likely <laughs> that I do that. Yeah, because my clock is actually still... Mm. Yeah, my clock is still at the correct time, but then I haven't reset my clock. So now I'm just debating how lazy am I and... Did I truly not set the clock correctly? Hmm. Would be kind of awful if I did. Yeah, that says 8.30. So, that should be good according to the clock on my PC. One second. That son of a bitch silver made me go in. 
insane. Now I need to know. Daylight savings time. Canada. <laughs> There's nothing here. One second, because in Dutch we call it summer tight. Uh. All right, I've looked it up. We have daylight savings time, although we in Dutch call it somertide, which is why I couldn't. Like, it just sounds too different, so. But. For us here in the Netherlands, it starts the 28th of March. And not today, so that's why I was freaking out. But I think it goes on for longer here. So we start later, but it goes on for a bit later. So I was freaking out <laughs> because I was just thinking like, did I set my clock correctly or did I not? So damn it, Silver. <laughs> Damn it in your weird Canadian time zones things. I ow, my head hurts. Nope, you wouldn't have those large windows on the lowest floor. Let's just put them here. Again, aligning them because I'm not a psychopath like as then. Like align your shit as then. But I don't want to align my shit in the toilet bowl. Align it. Damn it, give me the beams. Alright, now I have to kind of catch up with the chat. Because that chat went a lot faster than I thought. Yep, I am sorry I'm moderating two different chats because Silver's cheating on me. <laughs> Bond new watch now I'm never late again. Here in North America we have daylight savings time, so here it's three thirty-five. Alright. <laughs> Hebrew I speak English, French and Hebrew. Sure I can't do the figures. But it's important to keep track of. On here I can't read that. <laughs> I need to go see ya. See ya, Sir Crocky. And... I just checked out Yuri. He's great. I mean, he is a great builder. Mm. 
what was I going to do again? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Also, this house isn't really turning out how I want it to turn out. Do I want to restart it all again? One second. I think I'm going to restart this entire build because this just looks too friendly and it's too large as well. Bye bye. <laughs> today is really just a day of like I try something and it doesn't work. But that's how. Mm, well, most of the times I have luck and I can make things work very easily. Today is just not one of those days. So let's make it this. Because I want the white walls, like that's something that I want to keep. Then have the tiny. Exclusion bits. But I want the roof. To be a lot steeper. So like that. Because pointy things usually make things a lot more creepy. Usually doesn't have to, of course. That roof, nope. Just nope. Bye. Yeah, Oprah. Obra, no, I won't say Obra, but Oba free me. <laughs> yeah, you have to try a lot of times and then eventually you will succeed. It's just that this build has had three tries, which is usually one more than I usually have. Usually I can show a building up pretty fast. Today is just not one of those days. Which I mean fair, everybody has off days. to make this really pointy like I want the walls to be just tiny compared to the roof this might be a little bit too much though <laughs> Maybe more along this trend.
Yep, that's the more correct height. Because the other one was too pointy. It was just too much. Although for this one I will have to make my own wall. Because there's nothing that is going to quite fit like that. That's so Should work because I've used this technique a lot of times, just filling up the wall with that. And then the upper bits, just do it with blanks. Of course, have it uh, arch over a little bit. Actually, before we do that, <laughs> well, let's have the planks in place first. Because that would make it easier. Whoa. Damn it. Go away. Nobody cares about you. I mean, I just destroyed it. <laughs> just doing that. Deleting the original. Luca, nobody cares about you maturing. Go away. I don't hate all penguins, just the ones that annoy me. Nope. This stream is a mess. <laughs> So, now I should be able to snap things on. Yay! Now I'm not going to have to burn you, P Planet Zoo. Because I definitely would. Are you excited about the 1.5 update from Plan Zoo? Yes, and maybe. Damn it. There. Because I'm definitely just like, first let's see what Frontier does before I go and be all happy about it. Because I have a f the slight feeling that there are going to be bugs. Alright, this kind of looks more like how I want it. Kind of. Yeah. Should also, because I'm like... Basically in one hour and... I've so far deleted two builds. 
Nope. Damn it. Really, today's stream is just a mess. <laughs> a cloud from... It's time to go. Bye, Opa, free me. I can hear that I'm like making sure that I say it correctly. But yeah, have a nice day, man. Let's hope to see you in another stream. But basically to go back on the update like I'm happy with the billboard like that's one thing that we have all been asking for and we're all wondering why the hell like Planet Zoo is built on basically the same engine or the same like groundwork as Planet Coaster but for some reason they couldn't add billboards right from the start which made for a lot of people, I think no sense. Because at the core, I think Planet 2 and Planet Cursor are almost the same game. So at the core of it, it should work. But it didn't. Hey, the hobbits. It's weird to me that things that should be in the base game aren't or haven't been implemented yet. Kind of like with The Sims 4. But yeah, right now I'm just like, we will see what the update brings and before that I will hold any judgment. Like the update might be wonderful and might bring everything we wanted. Might also destroy the game. We will see. <laughs> So, then have the beans going over to support the roof. But at least, like, compared to, like, the Sims 4, Frontier is doing a bit of a better job, which isn't a high standard, but still. <laughs> But yeah, when it comes to uh, updates, I'm always just a little bit like I will wait and see. Although what I did see it was an update from Paralyze, which I am really interested in. So yeah, today we had like a, an update from Frontier and then there was Paralyze and there's Obviously one that I was a little bit more interested in. And it's actually kind of funny <laughs> that Frontier right now says like in the update oh you were going to have billboards and such. Paralives I think is also in some way allowing you to have like your own images into the game like in like portraits and such so it's actually kind of hilarious that those two things happened on basically the same day or in like a very short time span of each other it's kind of hilarious in a way <laughs> But 
yeah then there's also of course prehistoric kingdom uh, news or well with the alpha coming and honestly i'm not that i'm not that excited for prehistoric kingdom i am thinking like should I get it? Because of course it's the YouTube thing to do to cover a prehistoric kingdom, but I mean I don't know enough about the building mechanics and I am like I am not into Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, or for like most games actually for the original intent, like Planet Zoo is supposed to be a zoo game. I'm building a haunted house. Or a haunted house, I'm building a uh, abandoned farm. Which isn't going that fast today. <laughs> Hashtag peer pressure, yes. <laughs> I am kind of anticipating that there's going to be a slight, at least for a bit, like a s exodus, basically, because or exodus of plant zoo creators towards prehistoric kingdom, because they, it's like it's the hot new thing to cover. But I, I am sitting here just like, yeah, it doesn't really speak to me, like. Animals you can very easily blend into a fancy world like every fancy world is going to have their sheep It's going to have their bears and such How the fuck am I going to work in Dinos into like like how I, I build things And that's one of the things besides the building thing because I haven't seen enough of the building mechanics in PK but I have a certain style of building and I don't like going away from that. So right now when it comes to PK, I'm just like, should I get into on like the alpha or should I like, I mean, I could get into it and then say like, oh, this game isn't for me. And then, yeah, what do I do then? Then I've <laughs> lost a lot of money for a game that I'm not going to play. And I am a cheapskate. I gotta go record my sports podcast, so I will talk to you later. Be well and always remember daylight savings time. Unless Canada does it at a different time than the Netherlands, which makes me freak out because I think I'm too late with it. But then it's just Canada being weird. Canada being Canada. Or it's just a silver thing. I decided against getting that just because it's a lot of money as far as I could find to get the alpha access version. Yes. And then there's also like... I of course have to think a little bit differently because I... They have a channel, so I have to think like, oh, would this be good for the channel? But then it's also like, yeah, but how long is the hype going to last? And if like, like we all know, the Lady Sider and Rudy are going to already cover it. So like, do you guys really like need me to cover it? So there's just a lot of like internal debate. Should I get it? Should I not get it? I mean, it looks pretty. Like I can't say anything about or anything bad about that. Like the game looks stunning. But it's just like, uh, do I want to buy a game that in the end I might not like? Yep, Canada's weird. <laughs> yes. I have no idea what I'm doing right now also. Just a heads up. I'm just placing windows and connecting them with beams. 
We will sort of see how this goes. I mean, so far it's really turning into a very upscale farm. Which kind of makes it sadder <laughs> that this is going to be abandoned. That's mostly how I do builds. Did you terraform the map before starting Valhalla or are you terraforming as you go? I did some basic terraforming like I placed mountains and such. But after that I just terraform as I go. Like I don't know what I want to build next. So like I made a huge lake which I then made larger. Because then I certainly wanted that larger. So for me, it's kind of actually ineffective to make things before I build things. Because I don't know what to build next. And if the terraforming goes against what I want to build, then I have to spend extra time redoing the terraforming. So I basically just do this all in one go. And my terraforming is dependent on what I'm building. So. Like. I didn't think Valhalla would have a swamp and then in a Halloween build I built a massive swamp. So that there's a lot of things that I just can't terraform in besides like mountains. Like mountains don't really change that much. That makes sense. Yep. In some way it... Well, actually it's rare if something that I say makes sense. It's actually pretty rare. Now make it look like the walls are slightly deteriorating. Hmm. I'm going to the wrong place for this. Uh, where is it? There. Because I like using this one as... How do you call these things again? <laughs> Shutters, that's what it was. I sometimes don't really... Well, I usually don't, don't uh, 
quite remember the words. Then actually. One that's falling off its hinges. One that's just open. And then, of course, when it comes to the door. I really, now that we're getting custom audio, I really want to put a speaker in with just like wailing noises. Just as if the people in the building are still like trying to get out. Even though they are like completely sick and everything, but... Would that be too dark? <laughs> that probably would be a little bit too dark. Can I actually make it so that there's... Uh, what is it? Oh, wait. Mm, property, flexi color, and then we will see if there's something we can use. Because you might have seen this in uh, horror mo or the horror movies. In some movies where there's like well, plague movies, basically. They would paint, like, a red cross on the houses where there's plague and then barricade the people inside. I want to see if I can make that. I probably will just have to use, like, a... Hmm, that doesn't look terrible, actually. Let's see if there's anything else. No, that I think will always just look like a flower. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> I'm not getting that dirt basket. That doesn't look that terrible, actually. Or at least in my eyes, like, knowing what you can do. Wait. This would look a lot more textured. But I can also use the... Yeah. My nose itches. The basic shapes. But I slightly like this more textured look. Like the paint is really thick and not really well blended. Because back then they had to make paint from powders. 
And if I do this correctly, I can make it actually look slightly drippy. You think the plaster pieces are really useful in buildings? Think about the basket. <laughs> you can make things look drippy. Just a tiny bit. This is a weird building in a way, I know it. But it's also one of those fun buildings where you can just mess around with. And I just want to use these baskets everywhere. Yeah, the ears itch. Now I feel like a cat. Like I wanted to go somewhere with that, but then I realized where do I actually want to go with this? No, they wouldn't do it on the side, they would just do it on the front building, or in the front door. like that this a little bit more closed actually then the whole thing should be a little bit more closed but then Almost as if they tried to break the shutter, trying to break out of their own house. Again, I, this building is definitely going to have a certain creepy factor to it. Like I want it to look sort of weird. I'm not going to continue on for much longer though. Guess, uh, why do I put plants on? I haven't even finished the main building. 
This, I think, kind of shows that today's today's stream was kind of just a train wreck. Excuse me. That one is just like barely holding on. I would assume that they would have plenty of nails for this. Basically, barricade these people in their own house. That would be like so terrifying in a way. Like to be barricaded in your own house, knowing that your own family members carry the disease that might eventually kill you or will most likely kill you. That's in a way so terrifying, or not terrifying, but just so creepy. Now I just want... Where's the back? There it is. You guys knew that there were going to be body bags. Like it was inevitable that they were going to be there. Like, this farm would have been such a happy building, like, it would be filled with life and all of that. And now it's just dead. It's over... slightly overgrown. And I don't know where I'm going to place it, though. I mean, I need to still build a chimney eventually. But I don't have the energy today for that anymore. Like, do I want to make it like the stereotype of like placing an abandoned building in a swamp?
Like it feels like it would be like more of like a good place here. With like Baba Yaga close by. Uh, we will see. But I'm going to stop the recording here. So today, bit of a short stream, but my energy level is kind of really dipping right now. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys all for being here. And I hope to see you guys in the next stream, which is Friday. Yeah, Friday. And tomorrow there will be a video out. So again, thank you guys for being here and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.